Hello, Halloween friends, and welcome back. Today is the letter W. We are nearing the end of our October adventure. Now, for this one, Party Crow and I have found an actual movie that we own and also had to raid another mystery pack. But this one is a good mystery pack. So let's start right off with the first, the single movie. I present the original, The Wicker Man. Not the remake with Nicolas Cage. This is the original starring the great Sir Christopher Lee. Came out in 1973, directed by Robin Hardy. And if you've seen the remake, it's kind of similar, but I just feel the original in this one is better. You're back in 1973, the police fly to an isle to an island off the coast of Scotland. Uh, obviously, this is a British film. Uh, he's following up on a, on a source that said that there's a 12-year-old girl missing. She lives on the island, but yet she's missing. So, anyway, he arrives. The locals claim that this girl never existed. And more chaos ensues due to local rituals. And the giant wicker man, which is basically the thing of legend. It's... Creepy murder mystery kind of thing leading towards sacrifice. It kind of, if you've ever seen the movie uh, Midsummer, it kind of has, you know, Midsummer has that same kind of vibe. Small isolated town, sacrifice, outsiders, etc. The Wicker Man, just really, really, really good movie, uh, in my opinion, and in Party Crow's opinion. And for the final W, once again, we had to dive into a mix pack. So I'm going to move the Wicker Man over here. And this mix pack is fantastic. I got it as a birthday present a few years ago from a friend of mine. We have the Roger Corman Drive-In Collection. And I love metal tins. Ten movies. I'm going to turn it over. You guys can pause that and take a look and see. But today, for the letter V or VW, we're going to concentrate on the Wasp Woman. The Wasp Woman came out 1959, excuse me, almost said 58, but 59, uh, directed by the great Roger Corman, who is still alive, and might be interested in sending him something to sign. So, as with any 50s movies, it begins with the quote-unquote mad scientist. He's experimenting with wasps, and naturally he gets fired. No, not from a lab, but from a honey farm. So let us move ahead a little bit. Cosmetics company owner, she's experiencing some drops in sales. Now, they've gotten word that people are experimenting with the royal jelly from the queen wasp that can reverse the aging process. So, naturally, they go for said mad scientist, and, oh man, I mean, it's just, what are you going to do? You, <laughs> It's just such a great movie, and it's a great classic movie, you know, and, and it, it just goes back to the why you should never trust the mad scientist to save your business, because mad scientist, you know, comes in and basically starts experimenting on the cosmetics company owner to make her the queen wasp to get all the royal jelly they need for their anti-aging uh, serum. And basically, yes, she turns into a wasp woman. Now, mind you, this is also 1959, so, you know... Be warned about what it's going to look like, but honestly, it's just a really good combination of horror and sci-fi from an era when it was more psychological and atmospheric based than raw jump scares. So, it's a true classic. Roger Corman is a classic. I recommend them both. So there you go. We're going The Wicker Man and The Wasp Woman. The Wasp Woman coming out of the Roger Corman Drive-In Collection Pack. That's going to do it for W. Tomorrow for X, we're going to do something a little different. 
and I'll explain that tomorrow, but I actually do not, once again, own any with the letter X. And I would rather finish this on Halloween, so I've got a little short little video of something planned. So, for now, continue on, my October friends, and hopefully you're enjoying these movies. We're almost done, I swear. Uh, hit the like button if you'd like, comment if you'd like, how am I doing? And we'll see you tomorrow for something regarding the letter X. Take care, everybody.